The Chief Commissioner, meanwhile, is continuing to defend her decision not to issue semi-automatic weapons to police in the wake of the fatal shooting, saying they're not foolproof. Brett McLeod has tested the current and prospective police handguns, and Brett, it seems she may have a point. Indeed, Peter. Now, until today, I'd never fired a handgun in my life, but I had a test run of this weapon, which is the current Smith & Wesson Model 10, issued to thousands of Victorian police. And then there's this one, which is the Glock, the one that the Police Association would like to see issued to all Victorian police. But as you'll see, in the hands of this novice at least, things can go wrong. Every policeman knows this. Firing a gun in real life is very different to Hollywood. Giving the lesson is David Rossborough, a licensed bodyguard and firearms trainer. Insert the magazine. Give it a good click. Make sure it's in. Don't want your magazines falling out. Like that? Yep. Give it a rack. That's it. She's hot to trot. The Glock is the handgun the Police Association wants, a semi-automatic carrying 15 bullets. It's certainly powerful, but there is one problem. Ah, it's what we call a jam. Yeah, it's failed to feed the, uh, the round off the magazine, and uh, it's just jammed itself up. And that's what Christine Nixon has been talking about. The current service revolver, with a design more than a century old, is reliable. Works well, has never ever let us down. But a serving policeman who asked to remain anonymous has told us on the front line they want the rapid-fire semi-automatics. From most of the police that I've spoken to, friends and other colleagues, I probably couldn't tell you one that, that does not want to go across to the, uh, the semi-automatic. We're outgunned definitely in the streets and it is, it is a bit disconcerting. A major issue is reloading. With only six bullets, it doesn't take long to empty the current issue Smith & Wesson. Putting in the speed loader, even when not under pressure, takes a few seconds. Reloading a semi-automatic is quicker. For David Rossborough, who's tested most types of handguns available, the only choice is a semi-automatic. I've got a motto, if I'm ever going to get shot, it's not going to be due to lack of shooting back. Brett McLeod, Nine News.